Hey, this is Chad with homeschoolwebmaster.com, and uh, let's get started with our Drupal 7 site. Now, um, Jeremiah corrected me. I, I, uh, I knew this. I don't even know why I said it, but he's not from Ethiopia. He is from Nigeria, and I apologize about that. I knew that. I don't even know why I said that, but probably because I live in the United States, and I'm not as familiar with African countries as I should be, but... Um, Hey, thanks for letting me know about that. So to get started here, go to DrupalGardens.com, D-R-U-P-A-L-G-A-R-D-E-N-S.com, uh, and the big old button here, Get Started, this is going to be where we're going to set up our first Drupal site, so hit Get Started here. All you need to do is fill out uh, the form, it's a very simple form, and first thing is picking your site URL now if you've done your homework you should have a topic uh, that you're gonna go over here uh, so if you have a topic then choose your topic for example uh, the best way I know is to give you an example I want to do cell phones for kids it's what my topic is so I'm actually going to put that as my URL just to let people know what my uh, website is about for so cell phones for cell phones for kids I'm trying to decide should I put an s in there cell phones for kids cell phone I'm gonna put an s so cell phones for kids uh, your username uh, could be something like your full name your password is something secure your email um, I'm just going to put in I'm just going to put in, you know, my webmaster one and then just fill out the word verification there and hit continue. T W A G H. Oops, forgot the capital. All right. Well, let's go in. Now, somewhere along the way here, you're probably going to get a request that you verify your email. Now, since I've already set up my account here and I've already verified my email, you won't see this through the process. So if that pops up, go ahead and verify your email uh, just by going to the email you put in, click the button, and you'll be set. Once that's done, and it may let you go ahead and do this, I can't remember exactly, but uh, we want to, on your campaign template, uh, we want to pick the product template uh, where it says campaign, so we'll do product there. and then scroll down it gives you all these options you can turn them on or off we're gonna leave them all on uh, and create our site we're getting close guys I told you this is pretty easy alright once that pops up we're gonna go over uh, feel free let me say this feel free to go through your site look at your site play with your site don't limit yourself to just what we're going over today we're gonna end up going over everything but we can only take it one step at a time so the first thing we're going to do here is to look at our appearance this may not work for uh, the cell phone for kids so we're gonna go to appearance it's gonna pop up with a really easy WYSIWYG here and now we have choices we have choices for the different style of sites we want. So I'm going to look through here. What kind of site do I want? And there's a bare bones there that could work. But I'm going to lean towards the carbon there because it's a pretty white site. I kind of like that. Gray background, I kind of like that. Something a little cleaner. And then after we pick that, um, we can go to the brand. And we can kind of choose what our colors look like um, do we want brown based you know the purple if we do that that's kinda nice a little darker there the purple but I'm not liking the purple lettering so I'm gonna keep looking here what kind of text do I want something simple that kinda looks good to me scroll down a little bit I'm gonna go with that 
So then I'm going to go to layout here. Do I want two columns on the left hand side? Do I want the column left, column right look? Uh, currently it's one column and then the text and so forth. I'm going to I'm going to scroll over here and choose I'm going to choose one of these two. I don't know the difference between CA and CB, but uh, we're going to do this one since it's the first one in the list. It's asking me if I want to do all pages or just that page. I'm going to do all pages. Now, keep that in mind. If you want to change it up for another page, you can come back and do that. Let's go over to the styles here. And you can change the individual fonts if you would like right here. You can change the border spacing uh, right through here. There is spacing in between your content and the different things. You can change that. So this padding here. So click on one of these above. You can change the padding on this side right there. And they've got this cool little thing. You can see the padding changing there. So that you have a lot of control. You can change your background. You could browse and do a background. And then finally here we have an advanced and that's where you can put in, this is so much fun, you can put in CSS. So you can change the features by hooking it. And I'll explain a little bit more about CSS. That is more advanced right now. So we're not going to mess with that today. All we're going to do is push publish. And your theme, you get to make your own name for it. I'm just going to put... Um, Number one. Yep, that looks good to me. Be my first one. And we publish it. Cell phones for kids, number one, is now alive. Is now live, and we have our first site. And uh, now that I've got that published, I'm going to close it real quick. I'm not going to go much farther, but all your controls are up here, okay? And you can start adding content, uh, or if you mouse over, you can you see the little gear button here. You can configure the blocks right there, so you can start changing stuff up, start putting stuff in. I'm not going to go any farther uh, today, but there is so much to look at right here. We'll go uh, through it step by step, but feel free, like I said, jump in and start looking at this. Well, there's your first Drupal site. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy, and uh, that's it for today. I'll see y'all tomorrow.